What up, amazing super fans? This is Raw Talk with Coded, and I got my super boss in the building. <laughs> boss, you look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> my jaw's cracking. Tanya, the big boy. I feel like making some noise today. You know, I almost said, "What's happening in capital city, Abuja?" Then I yeah. realized, now all over the world, and we finally see us. Absolutely, man. worldwide. They turn now. We deserve some Macaulay. We global now, boss. We global now, sir. <laughs> Good to be here, good It's, it's so always, good to have you, always, guys. always good to be around you, my brother. What's going on? Cool. Well done. And well has done. a cool family. I'm on the Akulo Ice Block. Ice Block. <laughs> <laughs> government is happening, but economy is. <laughs> but you know, CB now <laughs> we remove. Yeah, talking about government happening, we're, we're discussing trending entertainment news. Yeah, no oh, politics. Yeah, awesome, okay. awesome, awesome, mm-hmm. awesome. At, at least I, I, I need a reprieve from the wahala we are facing. So Absolutely, I'm ready for yeah. it. Yeah. So yeah. Let's 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 laugh it out today. Straight right? away. <laughs> All right, number one, Tokyo Makinwa says that she requests bleaching. <laughs> Sorry, because uh, when you see celebrities, though, we know we know that so many people who bleach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so many celebrities, and on raw talk, I say raw. What's her reason for bleaching in the first place? But she actually said, I know, you know, some people do that for inferiority complex. I'm mm-hmm. not okay with my skin. Mm-hmm. I want to look lighter. Mm-hmm. And she said, she she's actually grateful to God that she was able to tone it down because of money, and doctors. She mm-hmm. said, if I was poor and broke. I wouldn't have been able to do the medications. And then when my skin started deteriorating, for me, it's natural. Aha. Uh, so what, what would she have done if she didn't have money to? Aha. Because I think Toke is a beautiful person. Absolutely. Right? I've, I've, I've been opportune to see a picture or two of her without makeup. And she looked really good. Mm-hmm. So I did not see the reason why she had to tone her skin to God knows how many tones brighter than she yeah. is naturally. Because I mean... Take a look at the regular African skin now. Yes, you can be 47 and nobody will know. Yeah, absolutely. Do you understand? I'm actually old, but they don't know. I, he's, I a still grand, 18. he's a grandfather. <laughs> Abraham's blessings is this man. <laughs> but really, I, 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 I guess with age, Toki has come to understand that what she was initially blessed with was good enough. Absolutely. Was good enough. I, I agreed. She's done good for herself. She's made her money. She's made her name. She's made her fame. And now she's beginning to understand even better that probably mm-hmm. because only God knows what she's facing behind the camera, behind yeah. the scene, Boss, for her to have you, come out to say that. Do you think if Michael Jackson was alive, mm-hmm. he would say the same? Because so f- the whole problem started with Michael Jackson after he had the surgery. So for Michael Jackson's mm-hmm. own situation, a lot mm-hmm. of people do not realize that he had a skin condition called vitiligo. Oh, be- so vitiligo yeah. is your your melanin cells that's the cells that make your skin dark were beginning to die off oh, okay. so patches of his body was beginning to become like he was a white man oh my goodness but then in his own case because he was looking really terrible mm-hmm. he now had to use makeup to augment and then some people claim that he used bleaching so that was to bleaching. deal with it because i actually have a family friend who suffered from vitiligo before she oh, unfortunately okay. passed okay. so i was able to understand what really happened with her but then there are certain videos or pictures of Michael Jackson that you see that you can tell that okay, this guy actually yeah. used a bit of cream here absolutely, or there because absolutely. he had that patch mm-hmm. of green or black or something happening. So yeah, Michael had the condition, but then you can also point at him and say, Yeah, he did one or two things that influenced a lot of people to do the same absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Yep. Let's talk about influencing Bonner Boy. Mm. The big boner. Oh, <laughs> oh, the, the big boner. You know, um uh, um um Baba Frayo came out and said, despite Bonoboy's crazy nature, he still approaches music with sense of business and mm-hmm. order and mm-hmm. discipline. Mm-hmm. Do you see Bono as that number one? I mean, he's a giant in Nigerian music. Give it up for him. We have the big three Bono, mm-hmm. David Owen, Wizkid. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with his big three? Yes, I agree with the big three because presently out of Nigeria, they are the biggest exports that you have. However, there's a young kid from Benin that Mm -hmm. has come out to say there's a big four and that person is Divine Okubo. Rema. He says, y'all shouldn't put me out of it because Baba already has his clout. So give space to him. You know, make a big four. But you have to give it up to Odugu. Um, In as much as um, a lot of people don't want to agree to it, dude is good at what he does. Absolutely. He respects the business of music. So a lot of people, I, I get to meet a lot of young chaps who want to become superstar musicians and they think it's all about oh the bling the cups the you know get up yeah, chain. chains and all of that it's it's banana. more than that yeah. um in 30 seconds i'll just give you a summary back then some eight nine years ago a friend of mine and i wanted to go into you know making an animation and we didn't understand that there is show and there is business mm. and so we tried to do the business of the show mm. whilst we were showmen yes, but no boy understands that he provides the sound, he provides the product. Absolutely. But then he has an entire team mm. that works behind him. 
So when Baba Fire comes out to speak about Burner Boy understanding the music of the business of music, I absolutely agree. Because if you look at Burner Boy from his Don Gogon days, yeah, when he did the Don 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 Gogon back then, and Burner Boy now, you can tell a big difference absolutely. in how he brings himself. Burner Boy is bringing himself out as a brand, not just an individual. Mm. He's a brand. So he's pushing his market out well. And it's working for him, apart from the fact that he does really good music. So Absolutely. yes, I agree. So for young artists who are looking to blow, understand that there's a business behind whatever you're doing. TikTokers, musicians, rappers. Yeah. Understand the business. Yeah. I mean, that's what this guy understands. Nas boy. Imagine mm -hmm. his modus of promo. The guy, the way he's promoting the song means everywhere. It's like Sh a virus. Chef's kiss. He understands the business. Now, shout out to Nas boy. Chef's kiss. Number three. Adekunle Gold is actually talking to Sam Clef. Sam Clef mm. used to be a renowned producer. Right now, he's a ton blogger. Just like Mufasa Tunde not his ton blogger. But Tunde not is doing well, but I don't know about Sam Clef. Always dragging Simi. You know that Simi, Simi actually insulted him by dragging him way back. They say seven billion times he'll keep calling out Simi till Simi publicly apologizes to him. And Sam Clef is saying, what, what, what exactly? The shit too to you because I remember you owing me personally because we paid you for some songs way back in Oba to come to your studio and you, you I mean you kept doing this way. Adekun Le Gold is actually very passionate about this like stop embarrassing yourself and calling out my wife. Adekun Le was like he's talking to legendary producer, tone blogger, Sam Clev, you know. I like how you use that term stop. Right, stop going after my wife. Because mm -hmm. Sam Clef. I mean, a big one, you know. As in Sam Clef, not be small begins. Sam Clef has been in the game for I am if I'm being very um, conservative right now, it's about twenty years. What? Yes. I'm talking about he was amongst the people that first started producing whiskey. Mm. I your boy. That period yes, when EME um, came out, that's mm -hmm. um, uh, what's his name now? Banky's Banky W's record, uh, label. record label. Sam Clef now. Sam Clef uh -uh. now. So I, I, I should be expecting him to be a record label boss of his own at this point Absolutely. in time. And not dragging. Not dragging job. with. I mean, if you were to put them in the same family to be Sam Clef, two or three people then see me. Mm. Do you understand? So it isn't it isn't right to the point where the woman's husband is coming to tell you, my guy, behave yourself. Mm. When you put yourself out there, they can go drag your trouser. You'll be smart. You understand? Yeah. So no, Sam Clef, no. That ain't cool at all. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back on Road Talk and Move for Muscle. They call me cool there. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ueleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ueleke TV, rising star at the fairground. Super amazing fans, so welcome to Raw Talk. This is Kudet. Welcome back. We just left for few GF. I know you're missing the action as together, boss. Danny the big world. <laughs> 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 so that's just like a lion, you know. Why do we do that though, guys? Like, <laughs> for what? <laughs> like that movie you so worried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the way Emiara is actually, you know, blasting Lagos State Government. She's saying, oh, oh, stop demolition. You know, she doesn't want Lagos State Government to keep chasing away poor people. And though I know recently some houses were discovered on the bridge mm -hmm. in Lagos, you mm -hmm. know, some people. Build houses on the bridge and they even call it rent 250k per year. Like, bro. Oh. So, Lagos State government is how to demolish houses. And I mean, they saying, please, can you people just help us so that people can breathe? Like the, the president said, let the poor, the poor breathe. breathe. <laughs> and then he, he did that with his palette under his teeth. Mm. Let the poor breathe. breathe. Are they breathing? The poor, even the rich are not breathing right now in Nigeria. <laughs> Everybody's suffocating. But then, um, if we're going to look at things from an emotional slash sentimental point of view, then of course, you would follow along with Yemi Alade and, you know, beg for everybody's house to be saved. But then there's something called development control, right? Yeah. There is a master plan for any urban settlement that you have. Absolutely. That's why you see sometimes, even here in Abuja, you see they come and they just take people's houses yeah, down. It's unfortunate 
it's unfortunate that that happens. However, in lending a voice, now if you notice, I have disagreed with Yemi, but at the same time, I'm trying to also lend a voice to Yemi. If you're going to demolish where people live, right? Exactly. Look for an alternative for them. Absolutely. Look a for somewhere you, exactly a resettlement area. How do you think Apple resettlement came to mm. be? There was an Apple legislative quarters. Okay. You had civil servants there. Then yes. when you now had the 1999 um, Senate, House of Assembly, and all of them, yes. they moved into Abuja. Then the guys who were in Apple um, legislative quarters were taken to Apple resettlement. Oh, awesome. So the same thing should happen with whoever it is that you're, you know, trying to move from one place to the other. Because if you don't, you have a situation whereby there's going to be a, a repercussion, a rebound effect where yes, people who don't have places to stay will resort to one means or the other to ensure that they have a place to stay. So are you thinking of Agbara somewhere in the it could be it could be a Coco Michael a job like somewhere. Just make sure that people have a place to live. Because yes, we all we all have the following rights. Yes, fundamental rights. Yes, a right to a place to live, a right to eat yes, and a right to freedom of interaction. Mm -hmm. At least, if people have that, yeah, somebody will say where they are is illegal, settlement is illegal, and so on and so forth. But because they were able to get a place to rest their heads, they were not, most likely not, tended towards committing certain things that you're most likely going to face right now. Yeah. So is Yemi Alade right? Yes and no. You okay, get it. Awesome. Yes and no. Development control has to follow through, but at the same time, consider the plight of the people. All right, boss. This bus boss that's been training for weeks now, David O and Wiz K, Chui. you know, exchanging, you know, throwing tantrums, you know, back to forth. Mm. It has resulted to some fans also taking some, you know, doing some harsh things. Recently, a Baba in Abuja, you know, came out and said, okay, I'm a, I'm a diehard Wiz Kid fan. And when he actually commented on what David O wrote, I think, Obio replied and the guy, people started checking out the guy, the guy started trending. Obio actually asked, I don't say you need money, drop Asa. <sighs> the guy went and said, and if you do, you know be God though, I'd be pure whiskey fan. If I, he went out and dropped his account details online on Instagram and started asking FC, you know, whiskey to FC to please, you know, <laughs> made and send out. So, now the FC couldn't tell us, hey, why did this grace us now? Obi, based on like Obi, you say, drop Asa. You can't say, make whiskey the FC. Okay, or we should keep sharing this year, particular thing to you. It gets to whiskey. Whiskey never see him. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't understand, man. So <laughs> it's a really interesting. And yeah. I'm I'm fascinated by how the... The video on whiskey thing is going The on. love for the Nigerian artist has gotten to the point where you have fan clubs Absolutely. that are ready to, you know, go at one another. Mm -hmm. If you call it friendly banter, yes, I'll understand. But then I get scared sometimes, or not scared, concerned sometimes when I see that people go to the extent of, you know, beefing one another to the point of what is happening, like you already mentioned right yes, now. Yes. For me, it's just music. It's entertainment. It's fun. It's laughter. It's like when you watch a game of Arsenal versus Manchester United, mm -hmm. and as much as we throw jack at one yeah, another, yeah. we can still sit at the same table and have a drink or yeah, have absolutely. a plate of food yeah, or well, something. Yeah. But you see, in this case, it takes you back to the East Coast, West Coast beef where you lost two Park, you lost Notorious B.I.G., you lost a couple of other people and all of that. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't get to that point so. at all. Yeah. But then for this so-called barber, my guy, <laughs> my guy, you should have just DM'd the 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 Azada. DM it and DM close mouth. Even if even if Davido will post your your Aza, if it's not whiskey that it is you, you still collected the money. So at the end of the day, you say to Davido, I don't want money. I don't want to give me money. Makes no sense now. Yeah, absolutely. Makes no yeah. sense. So the fans of Whiskey, how much was he expecting they would send? Shingbezu! Spell it with me. S-H-I-N-G-B-A-I-N. Shingbai. You will not get nada. Uh, but let's talk about billionaire heiress. Yes. Florence the Tedola. My future wife. Professionally known as, sir, future wife. My future wife. Future second wife. My future wife. Hey, ah. copy. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was me because I'm crushing on that. <laughs> DJ Copy, if you see this video, look at our two faces. Which do you prefer? The bears or the red lips like mine. Are you seeing the white beard? Are you seeing the red lips? Salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so what the uh, copy say? 
All right, Kofi has said that I know she's taking her single hold to the next level, to the level that she's actually making fun of him. Mm. That when she's requested in the bank, probably to write her emergency contact, she writes Jesus, that she's that single to that level mm. where she saves Jesus as an emergency contact. What do you mm. have to say about that, Kofi? I think Kofi is a cruise mistress. She's going to marry me. Yeah? I think, no, she, she cruises in my direction. Calm down okay. first. Focus, focus on. <laughs> No, I like copy. I like copy. I like the fact that she catches crews with everything. Um, there was a period when she was actually going through depression and she came out and let the whole world know that. See, despite the fact that I'm a billionaire's daughter, the way in which the Nigerian music industry is run, everybody seems to be coming for my neck because they yeah. think I have so much money to yeah, give. Yeah, yeah. She's not the kind of person that hides. Do you understand? She mm -hmm. doesn't pretend as though anything. When she was beginning to, quote unquote, get out of shape, she came out and said, this is who I am. This is the shape I am in right now. Mm -hmm. She was in a relationship with Ryan Taylor and she was all out for it. A lot of people thought she was in a relationship with Anthony Joshua and she came out and told them, no. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So the chick is being very real and it's one of the major reasons why I like copy. So you right? think she's just a dad, but she doesn't really want to rush into marriage? I, I think she wants to be in love with somebody, but I also with think me. that she knows that... I am the basic. <laughs> I think she wants to be in love with somebody, but I also think that she knows that she, she knows her worth. Awesome. You understand? She knows her worth. Because the Ryan Taylor who she was with just before this present breakup is not a small boy. He's an internationally known boxer. Mm. And when he didn't feel like he settled well with her, she walked away from it. Mm. So if she's writing Jesus on her paper right now, she's trying to let you know, oh, oh, Benny, I'm, I'm very single to stupor. I'm also I'm very not, single, you know. She has to find me. I'm as single as the number one. <laughs> All right, so the rant and bands between the video and whiskey took another level mm. when the video called whiskey a white beater. And then in reacting to that few, I think a few days later, we see Jada Pulok, whiskey's baby mm -hmm. mama, and Wheezy rocking matching outfits just to debunk the rumor that that, that's, that, that means they're actually taking this to the next level. Matching outfit, they're out to say, ah, the waiting the video talk no be true. You know, whiskey is not a white beater. We're not. We're still together. There is something. There is something. The third person of this trifecta said, "That's Bonner boy, mm. right?" He said, "You go explain, explain, explain. No evidence. Mm. Does the video have the evidence for the quote-unquote wife beating?" Yeah, that's that's actually very true. If he does it, mm. then he's sort of crossing a certain line. Oh, that right? particular. Because somebody can come out and you know sue mm. him to court. Like, how do you accuse me for this? Do you understand? When Whiskey was doing his own, he dropped a video of Davido crying and begging and kneeling down for God knows who. And yeah. you know, he was like, is this the person y'all are fighting for? Yeah. That was receipt given. Mm -hmm. So what is his own with receipt? Evidence, yeah. With evidence. What is his own receipt for this dude being a wife beater? And the next thing you know, Whiskey does what Snoop Dogg said. Big dogs don't bark. Mm -hmm. They bite. And he simply just came out and showed that. You said, mm -hmm. no problem. Babe, let's step out. Mm -hmm. And JDP steps out with him. Imagine our feet. Do you understand? Matching yeah. outfits is a thing of, Papa, talk with you, one talk. <laughs> I'm still on top of the game. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. It's been raw, it's been entertaining, it's been thrilling, it's been suspense filled. Thanks, boss, for coming through. My I G. Had a big one. My G. Just look at all of these things. The next time you see me, you will not have it. I don't teeth everything. <laughs> Wahala. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow us at Oweleka TV on YouTube, the same Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to drop your comments on this video. You know we have so many friends of David on Wizkid. Drop your comments on this video on what my boss said, you know. And follow him on social media at... Yes, on Twitter, I am, or rather they call it X now, right? Yes, Daniel, right now. the big one. On Instagram, TikTok, and Threads, it's Daniel dot the big one. Again, Daniel, the big one on X. Daniel dot the big one on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. Awesome, awesome. And share this video. God bless you. Don't forget your star. You're born to fly. Stay tuned. God bless you. <laughs> My boss. My G. Stop playing. <laughs> Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star at the fairground.